We talk about it as our sponsor, and now we're going to show you how you can actually create a meeting from your iPad using GoToMeeting. This episode brought to you by GoToMeeting. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad a play. Business Monday, we're going to show you an application, our sponsor's application in GoToMeeting. And the reason why is because they just announced that not only can you join a meeting from your iPad, you can also create a meeting from your iPad, which is going to change the game. Now, you can, you can actually get it for your Mac or your PC, a smartphone or tablet, but you could only join a meeting uh, using a smartphone or a tablet iPad is the first device that's going to let you do a uh, host a meeting. Now you can't host a meeting as far as I know from an iPhone or an Android device just yet. Maybe down the line we'll see what happens and if it does happen we'll report it, of course. But this is really cool because if you are on travel and you don't like to take your laptop with you, you can take your iPad with you. And if you have to meet with somebody, all you have to do is put in the earbuds and then uh, start a meeting Say and send it off to them and say, hey, this is the meeting I want you to, to be a part of. Let's get on and uh, talk about things. So basically what I have here is I have my laptop set up and of course my iPad. We're going to join the meeting or we're going to create the meeting through the iPad and then of course we're going to join it through the uh, through the laptop and you'll see the power of the GoToMeeting just through the, the iPad and this is really cool. First of all I want to let you know the Twitter handle is iPad365. The email address is iPad365show at gmail.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's get into this. Uh, first of all, the app, you bring up the app, and you come up and you basically say, okay, you can join a meeting, you can create your own meetings, or you can put your settings. So I'm going to, um, first of all, I got to switch it over to My Meetings, and I got to log in. So And then, of course, it'll come to the My Meetings page, and we have different types of meetings here. Which I'm going to choose Meet Now, which is the blue button on the bottom. Now... When that happens, that's, that's going to be creating a, a new meeting number for me, which is a nine-digit number that you would then share with other people. Now, my meeting has, uh, has started. I can share, I can basically ask, it, do I want to share from stuff? Can I connect to cloud accounts to share this to other people? Do I want to share my browser or do I want to share a whiteboard? So if you've got an application, like for instance, I couldn't do iPad 365 and show people an app. It just doesn't work that way. But I can, I can put together a whiteboard and I can draw it. I can show them a few web pages and they can see it from there. So that works, that works pretty well. So what we're going to do is we're going to share from the browser. So we're going to enter in a link at the browser. We'll go www.geekazine.com. And then on the bottom, on the bottom uh, part of the screen, you're going to see a little arrow. That's to ask if you want to share your screen or if you don't want to share your screen. We haven't shared the screen just yet with anybody. Of course, nobody's on the meeting call right now. And you probably you would have heard um, if I had speakers hooked up. It's a go to meeting, uh, waiting for people to join go to meeting. Now, so what, what's going to happen here is we get a number, and basically we'll email the number um, to, uh, to the invite uh, the other people so they know what the, the meeting number is. But I'm going to grab that number now, and then I'm going to go over here to the laptop, and I'm going to enter in that number, go to meeting number, into Google. And of course, if you ever want, if you want to invite other people, all you have to do is on the top bar, you have the settings, the second, uh, the, the person with the plus on it, uh, it has you, and you can invite an email, a message, or you can copy it to clipboard so you can get that meeting number out to somebody. Um, you can, uh, the third one basically sets who has control of the meeting at the time. You can share your webcam preview, like for instance, there's my webcam preview right there. Um, I'll share my webcam so you can see me in all, you know, right here from the iPad. And then, of course, you can, uh, you can add uh, present content or an audience view and faster screen updates, which I do have on. As you can see, my video is now in the bottom corner. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to mute the microphone here so we don't get any feedback, I'm going to call up uh, Google... I'm going to call up a browser on my laptop here, and that's going to join the meeting. 
All right, so now I'm, I'm joining it on the laptop. You haven't, you're not seeing this part, but if, whatever browser you decide to use, you have to make sure that you have the software updated. So it's right now it's downloading and updating the GoToMeeting software. And then of course it will launch it once it's done. Uh, you basically put in the nine digit number uh, in at gotomeeting.com. You, you'll see the button that says join a meeting up on top. And of course it's, uh, it's verifying the meeting ID right now. It's going to bring it up. Let's see if we can get sound on this one. And of course, I have it muted on the on the iPad. So like I said, there was no feedback. But now I'm looking on the laptop. I'm seeing myself, my iPad video right here. I can actually share my video, which I have a webcam on this. So I'll just choose the uh, video here. And of course, it'll turn on my webcam. Now, you can see my preview. But yeah, and as, as people join in, you can get up to six uh, cameras going and, uh, and, and go from there. If it gets a little bit uh, lanky on the internet connection, you can, you can kind of just change it out. But we're going we're gonna to put in all since it's just the two of us, <laughs> me and me. And of course, as you can see, I'm sharing my screen. And of course, I'm sharing my screen. Now, when we come back, I'm going to show you how you can then transfer so they can become presenter and then, of course, uh, close out the meeting and go from there. You know, meetings are essential to the way that we work. It's an opportunity to share ideas, to problem solve, and to develop creative solutions. But if your team is spread out throughout the United States, like my team is, it's almost difficult to even get a meeting together unless you have a program like GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It's the powerfully simple way to meet and collaborate online. I've been using this program for over four years. We've used it for roundtables, we've used it for CES gathering meetings, and a whole bunch of others. I've even used it to make business, do business, and it works every single time. I can see people face to face, and we can work things out. No matter where everyone is located, GoToMeeting allows you to see everybody uh, share the same screen, making it easier to be on that same page. And with the HD video conferencing, you can see everybody eye to eye so you can collaborate and get the meeting done in one shot. And the best part is you can actually see it. You can use your Mac, you can use your PC, you can use your phone, you can use your tablet. But the really exciting news is now, not only can you join a meeting using your iPad, you can also start a meeting using your iPad. Check it out, put it into your business toolbox. It's a great program. I'm gonna give you 30 days for free. Simply visit gotomeeting.com. Click the Try It Free Now button, enter in that code PODCAST. PODCAST gets you 30 days of this great software by Citrix, and of course it helps iPad365 get these shows out to you. So remember, use that promo code PODCAST for GoToMeeting. Meeting is believing. All right, so like I said, there's, a, there's some limited functionality. Like I said, you can do a whiteboard and you can go to a web page, but you can't go to an app. If, if I close this out, um, and let's say I go to my uh, I go to my Facebook app over on the laptop it says that it's paused so it's seeing the go to meeting and it knows it's still running and it's still running in the background but I can go and I can check on my Facebook page or something like that and then go back to go to meeting by hitting the red bar and come back in there that'll unpause everything and my video will come back over on the laptop now let's say I want to give out uh, presentation to the laptop. That's actually pretty straightforward. We, the, th the middle button, which is basically three, uh, an icon that looks like three people, you'll, you'll press that and you'll see the attendees. We'll see the two attendees, myself and myself. And of course, I want to give a presentation to the laptop. So basically, I'll choose the laptop and then I'll say, I want you to make it presenter. I can also have it make, make it organizer if I wanted to. So now it's going to flip over here, and as you can see, the, the main video uh, for my laptop is uh, showing up right there. So I want to show my screen of monitor one. If I have multiple monitors, I can do more than one monitor. And then as you can see, we have both video up on top, um, and then of course you're seeing the web page that I had up here. And of course I can go to geekazine.com. And then, of course, we can show off uh, geekazine.com and go from there. Now, if I want to hide the cameras, all I have to do is uh, move that line up there. As you can see, it makes the, uh, it makes the video smaller or bigger. 
And of course, you can get your online meetings finished and go from there. When it's all said and done, all you have to do is leave go to meeting and say end, end the meeting for everybody. And of course, it disconnects the call and the session has ended. That's as simple as how that goes. Some features on it, like I said, you can, you can go to the whiteboard, you can go to a web page, but anything more than that, uh, you can't present another program or something like that. Uh, maybe down the line that'll change, but for now, that's basically how it goes. If you host a meeting, if you're on a laptop, let the laptop do the other types of presentations if need be. On the fly meeting with clients and colleagues, this is probably the best way to do it. Uh, as long as you have a wireless uh, or yeah, wireless signal somewhere, you should be able to get up and get on a meeting and show people what you're talking about. And that's the episode for today. What do you think? Are you excited about GoToMeeting? I know I am. I can't wait to actually try a couple meetings from the iPad, start a couple meetings. I'm always on GoToMeeting meetings. So this is going to be an added bonus, an added way for me to get, uh, to get out there and talk with people. And I'm really excited about that. So check it out. Go over to GoToMeeting. Of course, there's that uh, free 30-day promo code in uh, podcast. Please use that. And of course, that helps uh, iPad 365 keep the lights on. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening if you've uh, listened over there. I know that this one was more of a visual episode than audio episode. So go over to geekazine.com, iPad-365.com or the YouTube channel and uh, you can watch the video from there. All right, we will be back on Wednesday when we're going to talk about social networking and uh, application that's come to the iPad. And we're going to do that on Wednesday when it will be another episode of iPad 365. My name will still be Jeffrey Powers. Thank you very much for coming to the show. And until next time, you guys geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.